Hi, welcome to my vlog. My name is Aki, aka Aki At. How are you all doing during these difficult and strange times? We've been in lockdown here in New Zealand and for the past month, we haven't left our house for anything other than grocery shopping at the supermarkets. So it means a lot of family bonding time in this household as well as getting on with some of the maintenance works around the house that we've been meaning to get on to. We all have one of those, don't we? Other than that, we've all been happy. Um, yeah, let's get on with our vlog. Today is an exciting day as we were finally able to get hold of some flour from the shops. Fortunately, we haven't had any trouble finding toilet paper but our local supermarkets have been running very low on flower stock for the past month. But luckily, the last time we went grocery shopping, we were able to get a bag of flour. There was a limit to only one bag per customer, which is good. Gives everyone now a fair chance to get hold of some. It's amazing how at these times we come to appreciate the humble flour. So we will be enjoying some flour recipes over the next coming days for sure. Starting off with my husband's handmade udon noodles. Luckily, other than the cancelled book tour, my freelance work is coming in as usual. Even with my not so helpful studio buddies, on this particular day I was also able to fit in another lockdown themed colouring picture. This one is focusing on the term that we have been hearing and saying a lot, social distancing. Which I have come to question whether it's the right term we should be using. Definitely physical distancing is what we all need to be practicing now. And socially, we should be uniting more than ever. What do you think? hope you're enjoying the vlog don't mind the noise that's just my boys playing outside I was just checking out the latest issue for the Sally Ripon holiday program and um, in it is a how to draw Billy guide disclaimer Billy is not the easiest character to draw when I was putting this together I kind of realized if there's no easy way explaining how to draw Billy. I must say other characters from the stories are much easier to draw than Billy. Jack, Rebecca, yeah they're all much simpler to draw but Billy, as long as you get her black hair and six freckles right, I'm sure it'll look something like Billy. Another exciting thing about the latest issue is that there is a page about me. So if you want to learn a bit about myself, um, check it out. This year is quite a big deal for Billy B. Brown. It marks a 10 year anniversary. So I would most likely be talking about Billy B. Brown series in all my studio vlogs this year. Because she is a big deal to me. I will also be working on her when I do my freelance work which I can't really share on my vlogs unless they are published and out to the public then I can show you all the behind the scenes and stuff once they are out in the public for you guys to read. So those will be popping out in my studio vlogs in the future. 
The publishers were planning to send Sally and I on a book tour across New Zealand to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the series and that has been cancelled due to pandemic. I'm kind of gutted, I love tours. We've toured Australia in the past together, it was fantastic. I got to meet hundreds of Billy fans and I got to sign many many books. It just makes me realise how grateful I am that I get to illustrate stories. When I'm working alone in my room and not dealing with anybody else but myself and the editors, I sometimes feel like my client, my audience, are editors. But really the editors are focusing on getting the best books out to the readers and my job is to get the best illustration out to accommodate the stories but that's sometimes forgetful when you are working so hard on these illustrations to get approved by the editor but when you go on these um, book tours you really get to meet your real audience and when they appreciate what you do it gives me all the reason to keep doing what I'm doing, keep illustrating stories. Hello. I'm just so grateful that the editor has found me, the publisher has found me and I get to illustrate um, Sally's stories. Hopefully we can continue to keep working together. Uh, we were planning to go on a book tour this year but that's been cancelled due to pandemic. So instead we are doing a online holiday program. It's all free. Each week there's an issue released filled with lots of Billy Bee related activities and games, interviews and behind the scenes. And even if you are not a Billy Bee Brown reader, if you have any young kids at home and you need some activities to keep them entertained, I would say check out the website. I'll leave the link below. For those of you who's been wondering what the books are like, what the story is about, Sally actually reads a few pages from one of the books from the series in the holiday program. It's a great way to learn what the stories are like, what sort of languages are used. There is a competition being held over there. The entries close at the end of May. Awesome prizes. You don't want to miss out. The publishers have been doing a wonderful job putting all this program together. So check out the website. I like throwing in a lot of seeds and stuff in my bread so today I added some pumpkin seeds, linseed and sunflower seeds and grated some carrots, put some corn in, it will be nice lunch for the boys. So another day, um, kids had breakfast. I'm in charge of breakfast and lunch usually and my husband does all the dinners which <laughs> I'm so grateful for. Like just how you saw now, I put some ingredients into the bread baker for lunch today so that's easy lunch. I'll do some freelance work and hopefully I can fit in some Anzac themed colouring picture since Anzac's coming up. So that's something I'll try to do sometime today and get it up on the website so that kids got something Anzac themed to colour in over the weekend. Another busy day, let's see how much I can do. Kids come first really during the day, so but if they give me time I can squeeze in work, if they need me I can't squeeze in anything. Um, usually the youngest, he needs me the most, he's the one who can't, who, who, who needs mum. The older two loves dad, so they're quite happy playing with dad or playing amongst themselves. But the youngest, he really needs me. I still nurse him day and night. He still really needs me full time. But um, they're happy now. They just had breakfast and just like 
running around in the house chilling so just giving you guys another update and yeah see how the day goes There have been many people mourning the fact that this year we cannot gather in groups to hold the Anzac memorial services. This picture is reinforcing the idea that even in separation we can unite from afar and honour those who have fought for the peace we have now. Regardless of who we are, a retired soldier, a little girl, a guy with funky look or even if you're a crazy cat lady, we can remember and honour together. The beam is looking so nice now. It matches the rest of the ceiling and the walls. <laughs> and if you're wondering what that is, one day a wasp flew into a hole in the ceiling and didn't come out for a couple of hours. Then one came out, two came out, and we kind of figured there must be a wasp, um, wasp nest up there. So. We stuffed it up there. That was about three or four months ago. So whatever's happening in there, hopefully has died away. Here goes the last lockdown themed colouring picture in this vlog. In New Zealand we have been told by our Prime Minister to stay in our bubble to stop the spread of the virus. So I thought I would do an Alice in Wonderland in bubbles illustration. You can download colouring pictures from my website. I will leave the link in the description below so check it out. We are ending today soon. Kids are still outside. Uh, just trying to fit in a lot of um, freelance work right now because I've got a lot of deadlines. Um, a few videos to make and a lot of new people to look after. It's been announced this week that we'll be coming out of level 4 lockdown in New Zealand. New Zealand has different tiers of lockdown levels with different restrictions. And we've been at the toughest one, level 4, which practically means everybody other than essential workers, such as supermarkets and the hospital people, have to um, stay at home. Sorry, breastfeeding. From level 3, some shops can open, they can start doing online shopping and contactless delivery or pickup and restaurants can start opening if they can provide service in the same way with no contact, contactless payment, paying online. Yeah, people who are working has to keep social distance as well. Schools are partially open for people who's going back to work but only for students up to year 10 so 
Our kids will be here with me because I'm home. Um, my husband still has to be home. So yeah, nothing changes for us, but for other people, it means there's online shopping and then there are takeaways. So that's great. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.